Hey guys, a uh, little review of the Daytona three-ton low-profile jack from Harbor Freight. Uh, if you're trying to make a decision between this and the Pittsburgh, uh, just let me tell you what my um, findings are or my initial impressions. Uh, I had the Pittsburgh and had brought it home, um, you know, $109. This one went on sale for $119. I just decided for the extra 10 bucks, uh, I'd like to get it. It looks really close to the Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh, uh, but really couldn't see that much difference when I'm looking at it. But you'll look here, 20 inch ma uh, maximum lift height, three and a half extra low profile lift. And here's something I noticed right off the bat, premium rear swivel casters. Okay, now that's just again, more riding uh on the wall and uh you're just thinking well is there really any big thing there um you know maybe maybe not uh pittsburgh gets about four and a half stars and so does this one but let me just go around here now a lot of people say that one of the big differences on here this is a little bit better paint job uh, i don't notice that much if you look here there's some breaks in the paint um, over here, look like it's getting beat up just a little bit. Same thing, but hey guys, this is a floor jack. Uh, as soon as you start using it, you're going to be doing that anyway. One of the ads is a little rubber bumper right here on your lift. But I will tell you, the first thing I noticed as soon as you get it out of the box is this thing turns and rolls. If I can get that piece of paper out of here turns and rolls better than the Pittsburgh does. So those uh, premium casters that are on the rear, uh, it's definitely a real deal. Now, this will not even challenge this jack, but I have used the Pittsburgh while I've been working on the Polaris Ranger. Getting it up, uh, I was also using the Harbor uh, Freight jack stands. Don't use those, return them. Um, just go to Amazon. Uh, get something that this doesn't have multiple recalls and always back it up with some other system and nobody needs to get hurt but uh, you can't make a set of jack stands you need to get out of the jack stand business so quick lift here this machine weighs about 1800 pounds all the stuff i've got in it it may be close to 2000 total but this is just a rear and this is but right here is the one thing I did notice. Again, those casters, it rolls better. And the first thing I noticed as soon as I lifted this, this is the exact position that I used the Pittsburgh jack to lift this machine when I put the lift kit on it. There's less effort required when you're pulling down and just lifting this machine right here. So, Two big things. It uh, doesn't seem like much, but less effort to uh, raise a machine that weighs about 1,800 pounds, rolls around the floor better, and those two things right there for me, uh, that's worth, uh, excuse me, that's worth the extra 10 bucks. Kind of like the green, bright colored, so if you're looking around a shop or if you're walking around, uh, maybe it stands out, you don't trip over it, uh, you know, I mean, yeah, I may be stretching it there a little bit. But uh, yeah, that's it guys. Two things I noticed, uh, less effort to uh, operate the jack. It's got the uh, rubber foot in there so you don't, uh, doesn't push up against the metal on stuff like this. And let me tell you, when they say it has the premium rear swivel casters, you can notice it. Very good. All right guys, hope this helps if you're trying to decide between the uh, Pittsburgh three-ton low profile or getting the Daytona. Look for the coupon and the super, super coupons that were just mailed out. Uh, you can get this jack for $119. All right, guys, be safe. Get rid of those Harbor Freight jack stands if you got them. Uh, go to get something else, anything else. All right.